How many grams of pure silver does a silversmith need to mix with a 45% silver alloy to produce 200 grams of a 50% silver alloy? How many grams of 45% alloy did you have to start with? So before we solve this problem, let's try to make sure we understand some of the terms involved. Um, by alloy, we mean a mixture of metals. And by 45% silver alloy, we mean the, the mixture, the weight of the mixture, 45% of the weight of the mixture comes from silver and the remaining weight comes from junk something else, something other than silver. So by 50% silver alloy we mean 50% of the weight of the alloy comes from silver and the remaining 50% comes from junk. So let, let this uh, square made, made out of 100 little squares rep represent my 45% silver alloy and they're exactly 45 tiny gray or silver squares and they're exactly 55 tiny red squares there. The red squares represent junk and the gray or silver squares represent silver. Basically if each square represents a piece of the weight of the whole alloy I get 45 such pieces from silver and 55 such pieces from junk. So this is my 45% silver alloy. Now I need to add some pure silver to this alloy and I would like to make sure that half of it is silver and half of it is junk. Now in this current scenario I have more than half junk. So basically I need to add pure silver. If I have 45 little squares of silver which matches 55 little squares of junk I can just add 10 little squares of silver and I will have an even matching or half of it will be silver and half of it will be junk. So let's add 10 little squares of silver. So what I have here is half junk, the red squares, 55, and half silver, the gray squares. I have exactly 55 gray squares. Now according to the question, the whole thing now, the original 45% silver alloy plus the new 100% silver should be weighed, should together weigh 100, 200 grams. So this whole thing according to the question should weigh 200 grams. Now altogether I have 110 squares. I can use that to find the weight of each square. So the weight of each square should be 200 grams divided by 110 because that's the total number of squares I have and that gives me 1.8182 grams. So the weight of each tiny square is 1.8182. I can use this to find the weight of 10 silver squares which would be 10 times this number. So the weight of the pure silver added which is this little strip of 10 silver squares is the weight of 1 square times 10 which is 18.182. I also need to find the weight of the 45 percent alloy that that we started with right here. In order to do that all I need to do is multiply the weight of each square by 100. So the original weight of the 45% silver alloy is 1.8182 times 100 which is 181.82.